Hi everyone, Steve Crosby here. Welcome to this issue of Monday Morning Musings. Look at, we are going to continue on in our little excursion in the Gospel of John. And one of the things you're going to notice in the Gospel of John is that he uses the verbal form of things. When you and I talk about truth, what is truth in our world? Truth is a noun. For John, truth is a verb. Truth is something you do. In John chapter 3, he talks about he that doeth the truth or does the truth abides in eternal life. That's foreign to our way of thinking. The Hebrew idea of truth, which we've touched on in other places, and the Greek idea of truth are two very different things. The whole issue of um, how Plato and Aristotle influenced the scriptures is very hotly contested. I am of the persuasion that it is generally not helpful. I concede that the, the church fathers borrowed some terms from Greek philosophy, reworked them and applied them to try to explain Christian things to a Greek audience. That's a fact. My issue is bringing a Greek worldview and Greek presuppositions to the text. The Bible was written by Jewish people, not by Greeks. Greek language, maybe Aramaic, but with a very Semitic worldview. And when it comes to the issue of truth, how we define it is going to mean a lot of things. It's going to, it, how we define the word truth is going to affect many, many things downstream. For a Jew, for a Semite, for Jesus or Paul or the disciples. Again, truth is hemet, and I'm not a great Jewish pronunciator. Probably a little bit of a throatal guttural sound on that. Remember we said the idea is something that is firm, something that is solid, something that is trustworthy, and something that is reliable. In other words, for a Jew, a Jew, a Semite, Truth had a moral element to it, a character element to it. That doesn't wash in a Greek worldview. In a Greek worldview, the worldview that you and I were raised in, you and I went to school in, the truth, truth is defined as the reality of the facts. It is this way because it's true. This is a desk because it is factually real. And therefore, it's the truth. For a Greek, a non-Jew, truth is the ultimate reality of a condition of a thing. There is no moral or ethical component to it. And in my opinion, dear, dear ones, we are living in the days where we are seeing the negative effects of not understanding the Hebrew definition of truth. That's how you can get somebody with a, 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 a high power rifle in one hand and an American flag in the other, thinking they, because they have an opinion about the facts of the Bible, that they are just there for truth. The Greek world which you and I are raising again, the foundations of our education, the foundations of our worldview, the foundations of our school systems are thoroughly westernized. Our idea of truth is intellectual, not moral. And some of this problem comes from Luther's neuroses and Luther's anxiety over grace and works and, and that truth is just, we, we define truth as being right doctrinally. If I'm right about the Bible, I have truth, and that's the end of the conversation. That is not the way the scriptures were written. That is not the way John uses it. That is why Jesus could refer to himself as the truth, because he was the only human who had maintained fidelity to the uh, perspectives of Father. He was the only one who had been faithful.
faithful to his Father without defect. I am the way, the truth, and the life. That's how truth is in a, a person. For a Christian, truth is an incarnate reality it's not an inward intellectual di disposition towards propositional realities brought forth in the Bible. I'll finish with a very simple and maybe overly simple example from the Jewish scriptures. When the 10 or 12 spies, whatever it was, go, go, go into the, 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 the promised land, 10 of them come back with, hey, there's giants in the land and we're like grasshoppers before them. That was truth. That was factually true, but it wasn't truth. The two spies that brought the good report didn't respond based on just the observable facts of reality. They considered God in the reality. And the minute God comes into the reality, we are into a moral dimension. And I don't mean moral codes, and I don't mean behavior codes. It just means that there is more to truth than just observable reality. And that includes how we posture ourselves before the scriptures and how we try to interpret the scriptures. And the Gospel of John understands this and it is full of it. The right idea of truth. A, it's a verbal noun, it's something we do, and it has a moral or ethical quality to it. And that's what he said, I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.